Hi. Everything that we import into our browser is everything that we have captured. Maybe a whole clip on a side-by-side uh, -side card from the Sony EX1, or maybe a whole tape if we've been capturing from DV Cam. Basically, these clips contain everything that you've brought in, and most of the time you don't want everything. You don't want everything in your film. And the way we select which parts we want <coughs> is through marking in and marking out. If I run along the playhead here, run along the playhead, you've got Arthur on the beach, very nice. I might not want all of this, I think I say something here, yeah, okay. I don't want the part of me talking in my film, I just like the bit of Arthur and the lovely beach noises, the beach sounds. The way I do this is by marking in and marking out, and the shortcuts to remember here are I and O. Okay, anyone who heard the other shortcuts video cast, which I've just published, shortcuts all over the place, very logical in Final Cut Pro. So you're thinking in, you're thinking what might the shortcut be? Hmm, in for I. I is in, O is out. Really, really simple. We don't have to move our mouse at all. So I'm looking at this just past my talking, I don't want that, and I'm going to hit I, I, and there on my timeline and also on the frame up in the viewer is the little in symbol. Right, so I'm going to take it down, run through the, the action, and I just would like Arthur there on, let's pull back a bit, I just like Arthur there on the beach, no movement. So I think I've positioned the play here correctly. I'm going to go for an out. There we go, in and out. Okay, this part of the clip now, if I was to drag it or use the shortcuts, this part of the clip is the part of the clip which would follow me down onto the timeline. I'm going to demonstrate that now just by dragging down. There, nice overwrite. Arthur standing, you can see in the left-hand side in my canvas, that's the last frame and if I run through it you can just see his feet don't move the part I've selected has come down onto the timeline that's through the in and the out okay shortcuts for in and out are I and O you can put um, in and out marks um, on any clip or any audio uh, piece of audio that you want to bring down to your timeline the way to get rid of them is to right click Okay, right click just about the timeline, not on them, you don't have to right click on them, just in that timeline. I'm going to right click and clear in and out or clear or clear in. Okay, if you decide that that one is, um, if, I, if I decided that I would have liked more of Arthur, you can drag it. Okay, so I move the playhead out of the way and I'm going to drag my out point. So that's perfectly movable or if you want to, you can move the playhead to a different area and hit O. Cats come in. Hello Bebo. Um, so perfectly maneuverable. You can drag them around your timeline or clear them by hitting right click, clear in and clear out. And there they are. You can put ins and outs on the timeline and when we look at three point editing we'll discuss occasions when you might need to do that. But the in and the out, essential, as everything that you've imported might not be everything you want on the timeline. To reduce the clip down to the bit that you'd like, you use the in and the out. I hope that helps.